Give me the pims. It can be quite difficult at times, I'm not gonna lie. Do it for like two hours with stigma. We're not living our lives for anyone else. This is my next step forward. Damn, it is so bright in here. I can barely keep my eyes open. I have recently learned that blue eyes are so much more sensitive because we like let more light in or something. So I am constantly squinting. That's why I'm always wearing sunglasses because my eyes are very, very sensitive to light. Anyway, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing well. So I thought today we could do a little q and I asked you guys on Instagram if you had any questions about me relocating back to England or what life in England has been like so far. For those of you who are new here, I have just moved back to the UK after living in Asia for 10 years of my life. So yeah, this is a whole new chapter for me and uh, I'm slowly readjusting. So I'm gonna go ahead and answer as many questions as I can. Let's go ahead and get started. Do you ever think about what others think about you moving back? That's a really interesting question. Not really. I mean, a lot of people will be like, why? Why did you move back? And I get it. I get why people would say that. But then you have to remember that I've been gone for so long that I feel like I've lived so many lives uh, overseas and now I've come back. But I don't feel like that FOMO of like, oh my God, I want to go live abroad or um, I want to go travel because I just feel like I've had the privilege of doing so many things. So when people are like, don't understand that, I just have to explain what I feel like I've missed out on in terms of home life and being at home, then they kind of get it. But yeah, no, I understand why people might think it's weird for me to move home. But also you have to remember, we're not living our lives for anyone else. We're living our lives for us and for ourselves and that's all that matters. How have you found the quality of life? I've been considering moving back for a while now. Um, I love it, I'm loving it. Difference is in quality of life. You have to remember, I've just moved from Bali, which coming from there to England, there's gonna be so many changes but i would say quality of life for me is better right now in terms of like having friends and family closer I feel like places are so much more accessible i feel a lot more independent here and not having to worry about visas or anything like there's so many things so many factors that go into being stressful when you live abroad and not having to worry about any of that is honestly just like such a breath of fresh air and i feel like i can just stand still for a moment so yeah so yeah you have to really assess i guess what factors are important to you with regards to quality of life any regrets been back home for one year and sometimes regret even though i love my new old life oh no regrets i mean i've only just got back so i'm not going to be talking about regrets right now i knew it was going to be massively different and i was going to feel very different i think a lot of people can agree that when you've lived in different places you kind of leave a little part of you in each of those places which sometimes can be really hard to come to terms with because it almost feels like a little piece of you has died in a way because you've had to leave it behind so i think it's just trying to remain positive and thankful and have that gratitude for what i do have rather than pining for something that i maybe had before what do you appreciate the most about moving back to the uk after so long in asia do you know what i'm absolutely loving it's just how much I've been walking. And to me, like there's so much freedom that comes with walking. And I think this was because I was living in Chenggu, in Bali, which is the most unwalkable place ever. And I barely walked, but now I've come home. I feel like walking is such a privilege. And I know that sounds really weird, but like having the ability just to go out, just to leave the house, go on a walk, walk wherever you want to walk um, and do it for like two hours. I can walk for so long here because the climate allows me to um, and that's such a huge thing. But again, that's always like a grass is greener thing. You wouldn't appreciate that necessarily unless you have lived in tropical climates where you, when you have to go walking at a certain time of day and like you're coming back covered in sweat and you're uncomfortable. It's like my therapy, walking in the English countryside, like there's nothing better. I also really appreciate the food and I feel like there's so many of my favorite foods that I've been able to like indulge in since I've got back. How different is the UK compared to when you first left? Um, I think the main difference is probably just how expensive things are getting. Definitely notice a price hike in groceries. Um, they're definitely not as cheap as they used to be. Train tickets have always been notoriously, stupidly expensive here. Um, I've been buying a lot of train tickets to go in and out of London and I'm like, mm, okay, like, you know, 16 to 20 pounds a ticket is, is a bit much. So there's definitely um, elements that um, are a bit surprising. Also, trying to get a doctor's appointment is 
near on impossible so I've definitely noticed that there's a difference in NHS service um, I think they're under a lot of strain and stress at the moment so um, yeah I would say that that's definitely a noticeable difference any reverse culture shocks everyone loves a good drink in England and it was kind of something I forgot about because I wasn't really drinking much alcohol in Bali at all actually but there's something about English summer that makes you just want I'm just like give me the pims let's have a gin and tonic I could honestly just drink every evening because English summers are just, I don't know, the vibe is to just have a drink and have a good time and sit in a pub garden. I'm definitely gonna enjoy that while I can this summer because I know that winter will probably be here in no time. Um, but yeah, I forgot how much everyone just drinks here and like there's such a huge drinking culture. Have you felt like a foreigner in the UK at times? Yes, but like only in my mind. So <laughs> sometimes I'm like, I can't necessarily relate to people anymore on, on the same level that I did before I had lived overseas because I'm just a completely different person now. And I've had so many different experiences that, that can make me feel a bit excluded or a bit of like foreigner imposter syndrome. And I think that was kind of expected. And then you'll notice like maybe your way of thinking is a lot different from some people. I think the only difference is that I don't look like a foreigner anymore, which is probably, it, yeah, it is quite weird because I'm so used to being the foreigner. I'm so used to, you know, being the only like blonde girl or the only white girl in the group. So it is weird for me to not be the odd one out, I suppose. Have you found the cost of living expensive compared to Singapore or similar? Yeah, like I said, I think perhaps, well, I think groceries here are a bit cheaper for sure than Singapore and then rent, um, it just depends where you're living. So if, if I was to rent on the outskirts of London, like where I am now, it would definitely be cheaper than Singapore and I'd get more space for my money. Whereas if I was going into London, you're probably now in 2024, I would assume that the, the prices are kind of on par with each other, Singapore and London. So yeah, I think it's happening with all cities. Um, prices are skyrocketing. Um, but I have heard recently that the rent in London is coming down again. How do you readjust to living with your parents again and living independently for so long? Yes, it is definitely a readjustment um, and it can be quite difficult at times, I'm not gonna lie. I am in a very lucky position where I'm even able to stay with my parents, so um, I'm really thankful for that. And obviously it gives me time to you know, spend a bit more quality time with them. Honestly, at this stage of my life right now, I think I mentioned it before, but I'm not in a hurry to rush back into getting my own place again and living independently just because with winter approaching, or winter will be here quite soon, so I know that I will really struggle if I'm living on my own in a new country, a new country um, on my own. And so I don't really wanna put myself through that just yet. So I'm giving myself some time to readjust back to English life emotionally kind of settle and then I'll think about living a bit more independently and the next steps definitely cross that bridge when I get to it. it I think you also have to make sure that you just have time for yourself like I am dedicating a couple of days a week to going into London doing things that I love I'm trying to like stay connected to things that I enjoy doing so I think so many people my age in the UK have move back in with their parents and I think it's becoming a little bit more normalized now probably not for the right reasons because most people are doing it because maybe they can't afford to live independently or maybe they're saving for a home but you guys know that I I'm all for the Asian culture where the kids kind of stay <laughs> till they're a bit older. I just think it's really nice. I think it's becoming a bit more normalized here in the UK and I see a lot of people having open conversations about it and there not being that like weird stigma attached to it anymore. Did you move alone? Yes, I did move alone. I know there's been a few questions about my relationship status um, and there's absolutely no bad blood there at all. It just, it just wasn't gonna work logistically. Like I really wanted to come home and at this point in time in my life, I decided like that was the best thing for me to do. That was my next step forward. All right guys, I think I'm gonna wrap up the questions there. Thank you so much for sending them in as always. Um, you can like this video and subscribe if you wanna see more from me and my journey here. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.